Well, right now, it does not look like lawmakers are going to get a series of budget bills passed before their session ends at midnight tonight. Legislators say unsuccessful negotiations between the GOP and Governor Mark Dayton on the biggest bills is why they possibly won't make deadline. CBS 3's Jesse Slater joins us now. Jesse. Uh, Jesse, we understand there were large chunks of time where the House wasn't hearing a single one of the four remaining budget bills. Is that correct? Yes, Tara, that is correct. The Minnesota House has been in recess now for four hours, still leaving several bills up for vote, just two hours from the deadline to have a balanced state budget. However, lawmakers don't seem confident that a final budget will be finalized in time for that deadline. Now, the budget is expected to be a two-year spending plan that will be in the neighborhood of $46 billion. Earlier this evening, the House did pass the Public Safety and Finance Bill, which makes six bills that have passed through the House. Some of the larger issues have had state lawmakers going back and forth for weeks now. The Health and Human Service Bill and Tax Bill are arguably the biggest stumbling blocks. While still trying to finalize four other budgets, the HHS bill seems to be the one measure that needs the most work. However, these bills have yet to reach the House floor due to the extensive recess. And now we are joined by Duluth lawmaker Jen Schultz. And Jen, can you tell us a little bit about why this recess is taking so long this close to deadline? Well, we've already passed the easy bills. So now we have the hardest bills, which are about 70% of our state budget. So that's why it's taking a long time negotiating those bills with the governor and other legislators. So it's been, it's been tough, it's been long, and usually you need a deadline to get bipartisan compromise. So can you say with confidence that you don't believe that this budget will be passed by the deadline? I don't believe it will be finished by midnight tonight. There's absolutely no way that we're going to be finished. Uh, we just have too much work to do. Um, but that doesn't mean we're going to have a government shutdown. All right. Well, thank you, Jen. And if lawmakers can't come to terms by midnight, the legislature could seek what is called a technical extension, which would give them until the end of the week to sift through remaining bills they hope to pass today and analyze what's in them. Otherwise, the governor could call in a special session. All right, Jesse, you mentioned that special session. So what exactly would that mean and how does it help avoid a full scale government shutdown? Well, the governor can call in a special session once they have met compromise with GOP legislatures. If they don't meet compromise, it's almost pointless at that point because they would just be going back and forth again and nothing would really get done. There are three bills that absolutely need to be passed in order to finalize the budget, and those bills are the E through 12 bills, the HHS bill, and the state government finance bill. Now, again, the government will not face a shutdown until July 1st, but if the government does not compromise on a balanced budget, they cannot spend any money. Seem to find ourselves in this situation quite a bit. A lot of taxpayers wish those lawmakers would get their act together. Thank you, Jesse Slater, reporting live at the Capitol.